Have you ever found yourself asking God, why am I here? What is my purpose? Or maybe you've looked at situations in your past and thought, why did that happen? Or how can I get past that? Well, today we welcome author Brian Williams, who has written an incredible testimony called Safe Thus Far, where he dives into all kinds of typical situations that every single one of us have to face. But we have to decide if we're going to face them with God or on our own. And you have chosen to face them with God. Welcome, Brian. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Let's go ahead and talk about Safe Thus Far. Describe to me the essence of your book. The essence of my book was I have faced a lot of situations that most people have faced in their 20s, um, teenage years. I have chosen to look to God instead of looking to my own plan. It's been very hard um, dealing with insecurities, doubt, um, things that people feel like I should be on a certain path that I'm not. Um, but I've always chose to look to God because I know at the end of the day, He always has my best interest at heart. So, The back of your book has a very simple but direct message for any Christian that is struggling with friends, prayer, doubt, abstinence, insecurities, or just trying to find your purpose in life. This detailed journey of a single man's story is proof that God can handle it all if we just ask. There's several things I really like about this book. It's very simple to read. It's direct and whether you are single, like Brian's situation, or you're not, I think there are applicable uh, truths in this book for you, and they are broken down chapter by chapter. Um, your first one, I'm a redhead. You know, I think anybody could resonate with something like that because we've probably all gone through things in life. God made us a certain way, yeah. and man will tell us it's not right. Yep. But yet, even in these simple things, you're right away saying, right from the start, you got to stick with God in everything. Well, being a little kid, my hair was very bright red, um, and it was it's gotten darker over the years, <laughs> but um, kids are very mean. Um, in school and I never realized anything was wrong with me until I went to school um, and people pointed things out because not very many people have red hair and there's also other insecurities that I've dealt with um, just growing up and looking at other people and realizing that I'm different um, but I stopped and looked in the mirror one day and I thought how can I just just criticize God's work and what he's done in my life and like I'm not good enough um, it's not fair to me, and it's not fair to God to think that something that he created isn't, isn't beautiful just the way it is. So that's just chapter one. Chapter one, I'm a redhead. What, a, what an easy way to get into this book as you dive into more topics. Um, one of the things that you talk about in here that I think can really um, hit with a lot of people is the topic of church hurt. You went through church hurt, but you didn't allow that to keep you out of the church. That can be a tough hurdle to go over to walk back into the church. We look at God's people and we put them on a pedestal higher than anybody else because we have such high expectations um, as Christians. And um, my parents were hurt in the church when I was very little and we stopped going um, for a very long time. And my grandparents actually started taking me to church. And then once I actually got into church myself as a teenager and young adult, I experienced some church hurt myself. Um, and I've had to look at people and just realize that we're all imperfect. Um, none of us are God. We all have our daily struggles and imperfections that we have to deal with, and, but we have to look past that and just learn to forgive each other mm -hmm. um, and just continue serving God like he wants us to do. Safe Thus Far, My Testimony by Brian Williams is the book that we're discussing, and we have author Brian Williams with us. This is a book that uh, is a testimony of Brian's life, but the topics that are in it are applicable to every single person. I'm going to read to you from a chapter called, I Stayed Away. I didn't want anyone getting close to me. I assumed that once they did, they would end up leaving and I couldn't deal with that pain again. I went to church and left as soon as it was over. I didn't want to hang out with anyone outside of church or even talk to them on the phone. I was done. I didn't want anyone else to hurt me because I didn't want those feelings to consume me and result in me pushing God to the side again. I didn't want to deal with the pain and disappointment again. I couldn't do it. You're speaking your testimony, but I am sure you are speaking the mindset of so many people. We do get into that um, trust situation where people have hurt us, yet you're telling us right here that it is worth it to push through that, to not just forgive, but to be willing to trust again. And is that a place where you found yourself in your life? Yes, um, and presently as well. Um, there's always something and going on in everyone's life, and we don't know, I don't know what's going on in your life, and we don't know what's going on in the lives of the strangers that we pass at the grocery store. Mm. Um, 
Hurt is something that can consume us, and it can take away our focus from God. But the thing I've learned is God has given me so much, and he still has so much more in store for me that I can't turn my back on him despite what others may do to me or to those around me that I have to keep pushing on. And I know, because I've seen and I've been through enough to know that God always has a plan. And even though the hurt may hurt really bad at the time, that he will take us to a place much higher um, after, the, after the hurt is over. So, Great points. Good things. Thanks a lot, Brian. Brian Williams, the author of Safe Thus Far, My Testimony. This book is available at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, BooksAmillion.com. You can also purchase it at Reed Morris Hallmark on Flanders Avenue, Harding Highway, and Elm Street here in Lima, as well as the UNOH Barnes and Noble Bookstore. Brian Williams, author of Safe Thus Far, My Testimony. Thank you so much for writing this book. Thank you so much for your testimony. Thank you.